curriculum, as you may have already picked up, can be used in very different ways. Um, but it will always boil down to those essential things, that there are desired learning outcomes, there's got to be some way of developing those outcomes, and some way of assessing them. In SP, we typically think of our curriculum primarily in terms of the courses that we deliver. And as we know, courses run for about three years in most cases, and they are made up of collections of modules. And what we're going to look at in this um, tutorial is how best to put all that stuff together and to think about the learning outcomes, the instructional system, and the assessment system. Um, you may also have noticed that in SP we sometimes talk about the CDIO curriculum. Um, now again, that is a particular curriculum arrangement, as we'll see a little bit later, but it still boils down to those fundamental components of curriculum. What is it that we want our students to learn and be able to do? The kind of competencies, the attributes that they um, will have when they leave the poly. And as we know, there's a new vision. We want our students to be able to be inspired learners, serve with mastery. And um, these attributes are seen as capabilities that can be developed through the total SP curriculum. And we could even include things like the CCAs. They are part of the curriculum. And, but again, um, even with the CCAs, there are learning experiences, there, there's purposes. So um, I hope you can live with this flexible idea of curriculum as an educational offering or a series of educational offerings put together, which makes the, the total curriculum, which can be made up of a number of, if you like, curriculums that are seen as relevant to the total learning experience for our students.